Napa cabbage is one of those veggies that you don't quite know what to do with until somebody shows you. So thank goodness for TikTok. In this video, I'll show you my new favorite way of making it and the TikTok that inspired me. Let's take a look. Don't be scared by his ingredients and techniques. I'm going to simplify this quite a bit. When you're buying a Napa cabbage at the store, go ahead and get a really big one. You can just cut off a slice every time you want to make this dish. It'll last for a while in the fridge. I find that Napa cabbage is pretty tightly wound, so you don't really need the twine. In a pan over high heat with a little bit of butter, you want to go ahead and sear the Napa cabbage on one side. This will take about three minutes. While that's getting nice and charred, you want to start on your sauce. I'm starting out with two tablespoons of water, one teaspoon of sugar, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and a dash of garlic powder. Now you can add the miso and all that other stuff, but this will do the trick. When the three minutes are up, you're going to carefully flip the slice of cabbage and pour this sauce on top. Cover it and let it steam for five minutes. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Carefully slide the steamed cabbage onto a plate and then pour the sauce on top. You can tease the leaves open like a rose and look at how beautiful it is. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I made this, I liked it so much I ate the whole thing for dinner. It's got the perfect combination of salty and sweet with just a touch of butter. If you like it a little more crisp tender, then just don't steam it as long. Drop me a line in the comments and let me know what you think. Will you be giving this recipe a try? I'd love to hear from you.